build it forward. We want to talk about the folks in West Virginia still recovering from their devastating floods, but several organizations are working together to help support these communities in their dire need. We are on the front lines this morning. And that is where we begin. Streets are flooded, streams are swollen, roads washed out. The president has now declared a major disaster area in three counties in West Virginia. As historic flash floods and record rainfall just a few weeks ago devastated parts of West Virginia, sisters Elaine Hollinsworth and Susan Ayers were left stranded and afraid. I really thought that we were dead because we called up our family and told them goodbye. For 10 hours, they were trapped on the second floor of their home praying for help. Finally, around 1.30, I think in the morning, the National Guard and the state police got in to get us. And while the skies cleared and the water receded, the damage was catastrophic. More than 1,200 homes demolished. We put one message out to the employees around the area and so many of them reached out and said, I just want to come help. Well, thanks to you guys for coming out. For sponsor Lowe's, along with the First Response Team of America, joined forces to help families rebuild across the country when disaster strikes. The water came up to here. Families like Susan and Elaine as they start their road to recovery. The dozens of Lowe's volunteers were also a dream come true for elderly couple Margie and Harvey Stidham, whose first floor flooded with four feet of water. It's a mess, isn't it? Break some hearts. So this is two to three inches of mud and water. We're currently removing the walls. It's a lot of work, but uh, just to see the homeowners that live here, yeah, it just feels really good and the right thing. We're just emotionally there for these families in a time when the job in front of them seems really daunting. Residents in this neighborhood are determined to rebuild and thankful for the generosity and support from all the selfless volunteers. It is wonderful. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> That first response team does an incredible job. It is going to take a while for families like these to rebuild. But just last week, Lowe's donated $250,000 to the American Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund to provide needed food, shelter, and comfort for the impacted communities in West Virginia. And if you'd like to help, please contact the American Red Cross.